Welcome to the fifth Cura tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be discussing different objects being printed without being welded together. Now, first of all, this is not the most professional way of doing things. However, if you are making something for yourself or you need to mock up something quickly, this technique is viable. So, usually what would happen is you would Let's just say, I'll make a few objects. Like so. And as you can see here, they're intersecting each other. They are going through each other. Might be a little bit more easy to see. Oh, if I turn its faces on, I turn realistic on. There we go. So, as you can see, these objects are going through each other. Now the professional way of doing this would be to take them into a different software and then weld the seams together where they touch to make one continuous mesh. That way if you gave it to a client they could print it on any machine. However because we're using Cura what you can do is you can join the objects by attaching them and then exporting that. Now let's go into Cura and see how that looks. So I've taken the object into Cura and if I just turn solid back on, here is our three touching spheres. When we have a look at the layers you can see that what Cura has done is it's taken the outer profile of the objects and then just filled in the middle with a standard infill. It hasn't tried to create inner geometry. Now back when Cura was a bit younger, this is the newer version, this is 2.4, so if you've got a very old version of Cura this might not be the case. It might be that it might still recognize the bits going through as part of the mesh. However, if you do want to just make a quick mock-up, if you join the objects or attach them together and export them, Cura can work out where the inside of the model is. Like so. I'm just going to do another test now, just to show you again. I'm going to delete these. A good example of this is if I was making a quick mock-up for a character. As long as the parts are solids, so they have to be solid, they can't be faces. Just gonna make a very quick robot character. Oops. There we go. Give him a chest and give him a cylinder for a head. Like so, and I'm going to give him pyramid arms. Like 
like so, so you can see that's going in there. Take that across. Again, mirror. There we go. So I'm just going to join them together. What? Also, what I'm also uh, sorry about that. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to make him into triangles, just to make it a little bit easier on Kira. Like so. I'm going to file export him, and I'm going to take him into Kira. So I've imported the uh, robot into Kira. I've named him Rob, and he will take 12 hours to print. Um, but just to show you, if you go into x-ray mode, you can see where the models are intersecting each other. However, if I go into layers and bring it down, you can see that oh, let's bring it up the models fuse together and the infill is consistent I would like to point out that this model does need supports however or else his arms will be printing in midair There we go. This one's going to take a lot of supports and it's now going to take 15 hours to print. However, in this case, I would most likely print him upside down. So there's less support material. That's the end of this video. If you have any questions about Cura or how to export models uh, into, sli into slicing software, just uh, drop a question in the comments and I will answer as soon as possible. You can also subscribe for notifications on upcoming content and like the video if you like what you see. Thank you for watching.